Given that 30% of construction costs come from change orders, I think an important topic that we need to discuss today is selective coordination. As from my experience, it's one that's often missed. Hmm. So Kyle, what are your thoughts on this topic? Yeah, this selective coordination is, is one of those issues that always crops up right at the end of a project and, and usually isn't thought of until certificate of occupancy or they're trying to complete that installation. Um, the revision that was made for the 2023 NEC specifically ap applies to selective coordination and emergency system settings, not only applies to the emergency side of the overcurrent devices that supply that, but on the normal side as well. Basically everything upstream, normal and emergency side for that uh, emergency load has to be selectively coordinated. And it's one of those things that, again, it doesn't, nobody thinks about it till the end. And now you're trying to race around and make sure everything works, and, and a lot of times it doesn't. It's also to, ties into our discussions about maintenance and qualified workers. When you're maintaining electrical systems and performing routine uh, service and maintenance, and you have to replace an overcurrent device, if you don't do that with a like device, you, now you've just altered that selective coordination study, and that system might not be as reliable as it's required to be. So that's where the qualified worker part comes in and make sure that they understand the impact that they're having on that, on that service and maintenance and that equipment. Yeah, that's a good point because a service electrician might be replacing a breaker. He replaces it amperage for amperage, voltage for voltage, but doesn't realize that the arc fault rating could be different. Yeah, the trip characteristics play a lot of a big role in that, for sure. You know, in every code cycle, there's what I call a big sleeper change, the yeah. one that didn't get a lot of discussion, and I think this is one. And I think, Kyle, you mentioned, you mentioned this, but I think it's really important. This being located in 240.11, yeah. mm -hmm. it's the trigger is in other parts of the code. Like we have requirements for selective coordination for elevators, you mentioned emergency systems. So spread across the code, we have these triggers for selective coordination. And now back over in 240.11, once that trigger is in place, now you've got additional requirements on the normal side. It's pretty easy to miss, Toby. 